<laughs> my ride has left me this morning so I am gonna be taking the transit to church I'm on the road guys it's no joke but the good thing is that I'm right by the bus stop um, I spent the weekend with my children and they had other plans. I just didn't know about it till last minute. So I'll continue. I'll continue on my journey, do what I normally do solo. And say you're born by yourself. But there's many things in life you're going to have to do by yourself. I am not lying. I am at the bus stop. The sun is out. The sun is out. I think I'm going to have to take the sweater off when I get to church. But it's a beautiful day in Brampton, Ontario. We find a little shady spot right here. Ooh. A little shady spot is here. I think my bus is coming in two minutes. I do not have a big enough bag to match my shoe or my slippers. There's a church there, but what type of church it is. I think it's a church of Latter-day Saints. Anyways, I am going to Hope City. Hope City, Brampton. At Bramley Road and, and Mayfield in Brampton. That's, um, that's where Hope City Church is. And I normally would go to the 9 o'clock service, but when I'm by my children, I go to the 11.15 service because that's the one they usually go to and um, and I don't mind you know planning is such a important aspect of my life I've learned along this journey um, as I told before brain fog is real and so if I do not have that structure to my day a lot of things will be missed that are important to me that has to be done so that is good i was able to still learn that i wouldn't be going with them to church that they'd be going elsewhere and it was enough time for me to still prepare myself the only thing i did not do is a devotion and on sundays i will not lie most times I do not have a devotion on Sunday morning because I know I'm going to early service. So <clears throat> basically Sunday service is my devotion. So that's okay, you know, but um, God is good and he gives us no more than we can take and the weather is good, transit is running this bus is going to take me right to the door of the church isn't God amazing yes never did I ever think of taking transit after driving for the past 28 years in this country I have been driving and um, no, driving my own vehicle 25 years, but driving the last 28 years, I was driving to church, you know, with my aunt and, you know, cousins and things like that. And then once I started to, you know, have my own vehicle and have my children, I never had to, but this journey has taught me so much. Listen, when I can't try me, you know, 
anything once you have a willing mind is possible and yes it takes a minute to get out of our normal to our new normal and just because it's not this way it doesn't mean that it can't happen another way right I had um, a lot of challenges with my vehicle last year a lot of challenges it was an older vehicle that started to show um, its exhaustion and I um, you know was just feeding into repairs and as one repair was done the next one would start and it, you know the 500 a pop was just becoming much and around the same time I was navigating um, you know this um, cancer situation and it turned out that on the same route I was living is the same route in which I was starting my treatment and um, had started my treatment and so getting there was not impossible it was a little inconvenient because you know you still wanted to just be in your own space but I was never out of my mask, if you remember, so it worked out. Yeah, so I ended up starting to relearn the transit system, getting around, going to the office. You know, it takes me a while from here, but I can still move around anywhere in my city, just get a pass. Anyways, my bus is here. I told you I was not lying. My bus is here, it's gonna take me right to church yep have a blessed day stay safe like 